I'm gonna show you how you can put an image inside a heading in Elementor and have it be fully responsive because it's actually gonna be a part of that heading. So you don't have to create a heading and add in an image and then create another heading and then try to make it responsive and realize it's not gonna work. We're gonna avoid all of that and we're gonna do it with just a little bit of CSS. First off, prepare your heading and your image. With your image, by far the easiest way to control the proportions is to actually upload an image in the proportions you want. If your font is really tall, your image should be tall as well. If your font is normal, you're probably gonna want to go for an image that is either a square or a lot longer than it is tall. Then we're gonna go into our heading, and here's where the magic's gonna happen. Decide where you want your image to be. We're gonna add in our image by using an image tag. So we're gonna type in an angled bracket, followed by image, then SRC equals quotation marks, and then we need to add in the link to our image. The way we find it is by going into our dashboard, going under media, library, then find your image and click on it, and then you have your file URL over here, the link. So just copy this and go back and just paste it in. Then we're gonna type in quotation marks again and we're gonna close the image tag. So once we do that, we have an image, but it's huge. So we're gonna go back to the start of our tag over here and right after image, we're gonna put in a space and type in class equals quotation marks and we're gonna give it a class. Now this class can be anything, it just has to match in the next step. In my case, the class is gonna be heading minus image. And again, don't forget the quotation marks. So it's huge, we have not styled it yet, but we will in a second. I'm just gonna put in another image. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the whole thing. I'm gonna put it after, after effect, right? Just like this. Now it's time to put in my CSS. All of this will be available down below so you can just copy and paste it in. So I'm gonna go under advanced, and I'm gonna go under custom CSS and I'm gonna paste it in here. You can also add in your CSS by going to your admin bar, pressing customize, additional CSS and you can paste it in here. But I'm gonna paste it under advanced custom CSS. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it in and you can see instantly the images get smaller. Now I have a problem after my first image, there's no space between the image and the word heading. So I'm just gonna go into my content and I'm just gonna add in a space after my image over here just before heading and there we go. Now it works the way it's supposed to, it looks the way it's supposed to. So let's break down the CSS. So again, back into my CSS and you can see these are values that work for this image and my heading and my font. You can change all of these. You're likely gonna need to adjust the width depending on your font to get it to look right. Currently it's set to 15. You can see if I set it to 25, it gets a lot bigger. If I set it to five, it gets a lot smaller. So just play around until you get the result you want. And then the really important part is this. CSS media queries. This is what makes the whole thing responsive. So the first one is for devices between 767 pixels and 1024 pixels. So that is the tablet mode. And the second one is for devices under 767 pixels. So that's the mobile mode. So just go into your tablet and mobile mode and adjust the width to whatever works for you. So I'm gonna go into my tablet mode. And as you can see, if I make the max width for my tablet mode bigger, it doesn't get bigger for my desktop. My desktop is still the same. It doesn't matter what I do to this one, the desktop one is gonna be 15%. So if you need to make it bigger, smaller for your tablet, just do so here. And the same thing goes for mobile. If it's too small or too big for you, just change the max width. And the same thing goes for the border radius. You can make that responsive as well. If you want your images to have a sharp edge, so it's not gonna be rounded, just set the border radius to zero. And you can, of course, add in more of these media queries to make things even more responsive. So let's say I want to add in another one for devices between 1200 and 1400 pixels. Just copy and paste this and change out these values. So instead of 767, I'm gonna type in 1200 and I'm gonna type in 1400 over here. And now I can control the size and the border radius for devices between 1200 and 1400 pixels. And then just go test everything out, make sure it's nice and responsive, make sure the sizes work well for all devices. As you can see, this is all nice and responsive. And this also works for text editors, but you have to go under text over here so I'm gonna just copy and paste in my heading under text. And as you can see, it works. Just make sure it's under text, not visual. And after that, it's the same process. If this video was helpful, make sure you check out this video next and hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for watching.